Denise Williams is a regular visitor to the Middle East Conflict's Memorial Wall along the banks of the Illinois River near Marseilles, Illinois. This memorial represents those who have died since 1967 in all Middle East conflicts. People forget we lost three soldiers in the Yom Kippur War in 1967. The infamous Black Hawk Down, Mogadishu, they're here. USS Cole, they're here. So it's not just post 9-11 here. It's all Middle East conflicts. But there is one name on these walls closest to William's heart, her sons, Andrew Meary. This is not a legacy and a reminder of death to me. This is a reminder to the living that everything you have was purchased with these names, with these lives. It is something to remember, it's something to honor, to appreciate. Private First Class Andrew Meary was deployed with the Army's 101st Airborne Division in southern Afghanistan during the U.S. troop surge in 2010, when a suicide bomber on a motorcycle detonated a device near his outpost. One of the soldiers with Miri that day, Sergeant Felipe Pereira, later recalled the incident in a video produced by the U.S. Defense Department. I run down the hill even further. That's when I got to uh, PFC Miari, and you know, the soldier just turns up to me. You know, Special Thorn just turns up, turns up to me and says, "Man, he's dead. He's gone. He's gone." Andrew Meary was just 21 years old when he was laid to rest on Veterans Day, November 11, 2010, near his home in Illinois. His is now one of more than 2,400 names on these panels who died serving in the U.S. military in Afghanistan since 2001. Meary visited his mother on leave just weeks before he died. Williams says even then, he never wavered in his understanding of the mission to eliminate terrorist threats in the country. He absolutely believed if we were not fighting them there, we would be fighting them here. He believed in what he was doing. He believed in the righteousness of it. Williams views that objective in Afghanistan as a success. Osama bin Laden was captured and killed less than a year after her son's death. Everything else that we did in Afghanistan, while there's many noble causes, and there's many noble ideas, that's not what a war is about. That's not what soldiers are for. Soldiers don't dig wells and build schools. And my son participated in some of that. That's not the purpose of soldiers. Today, Williams represents Illinois Gold Star Mothers as the nonprofit service organization's president. We are the mothers of those who have lost their child or children because of their decision to put on this nation's uniform. As the United States marks the first November 11th Veterans Day after the end of the war in Afghanistan, a date which also marks exactly 11 years since she buried her son. Williams answers a difficult question she is often asked. I get asked, well, was it worth it? There is no such thing as their child's death being worth it to a mother's heart. Period. But my son didn't fight for the Afghan people. He did not fight for a political party. He did not fight for anything other than the Constitution, the oath that he swore. He fought for the American people, for America. America's worth fighting for. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Marseilles, Illinois.